Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we are going to be talking about Kali Fos, which is a biochemic drug. We started the biochemic series a long time ago, and there is a playlist of the same. You can click on the i button to check out the playlist. So let's get started with the biochemic drug. So the name of the drug is Kali Fos. Uh, Kali Fos is a mixture of Kali as well as Fos, but it will retain a few individual properties of the each element. So first, let us see what are the properties of Kali and Fos present in Kali Fos. Starting first with Fos, that is phosphorus. Uh, the ailments from in Kali Fos is from sexual excitement, either indulged or suppressed. We know phosphorus individuals are hypersexual. They love to be magnetized. They love to be massaged and looked upon. Similarly, Kali Fos is also has a peculiar ailment which is from sexual excitement, indulged or suppressed. Second thing which is similar to Fos is gnawing sensation better by eating. We know phosphorus are very hungry people or they have voracious appetite. Kali Fos has a nervous gone sensation at the pit of stomach and there is empty gnawing sensation which is relieved by eating. There is indigestion. And the third thing similar to phosphorus is the bleeding tendencies. We know phosphorus has bright red blood. Uh, so the bleeding tendency whenever we write any drug that has bleeding tendency, we divide it into various parts where the bleeding tendencies are seen. Correct? So uh, let's take an example of GIT as uh, GIT. We said about gnawing sensation in the stomach. So the vomiting here will have blood in it. Okay, so firstly the vomiting will have blood. It is sour of bitter food. Then next symptom of GIT we can include stools. Right, so Kali Fos has dysentery and the stools are of pure blood. When there is profuse diarrhea, profuse dysentery, there is a chance of prolapse as well. There is prolapse of rectum and the stool has pure blood. This is an important symptom. And then we go on to urine. So the urine also has blood in it. Okay, so far so good. We've understood about the bleeding tendencies. Now, if you know any drug that has bleeding tendency, it usually also has a component of female reproductive system where there is either menorrhagia or metrorrhagia. But as opposed to that, Kali Fos has very late or too scanty menses. So the bleeding is less. Kali Fos individuals are pale. Okay. They are pale, irritable constitution. And the bleeding is almost black. So it is, although it is late and scanty, but it is almost black. Another thing which is similar to phosphorus is uh, phosphorus has RS complaints, right? And the RS complaints in phosphorus are aggravated by thunderstorm. Uh, so it has a peculiar modality which aggravates the complaints. Your Kali Fos has hay fever and hay asthma. And uh, the peculiar thing about asthma is that Asthma is aggravated with food. Okay, although the person has ameliorating modality of eating in GIT, RS has aggravation from food. So far, so good. We go ahead to the Kali component. So the Kali component has a, a lot of grief. Uh, Kali drugs have grief in it. Now, if we take a look at the mental symptoms, the person is very nervous 
there is depression of spirit general irritability so if you see the mentals are more towards kali and not towards phosphorus there is gloomy mood looks at dark side of everything uh, aversion to meet people whereas phosphorus would love meeting people but this drug has an aversion to meet people so in general kali phos is a depressed individual there is gloominess depression nervousness irritability all these words you can write it down uh, because of grief and overthinking the person is also sleepless there is sleeplessness and that causes somnambulism that is walking in sleep other thing that is also present is night terrors which can be a reason for sleeplessness so these are the components that are associated with kali also the patient is chilly moving ahead kali phos and albumin are present in grey matter this was present in one of the reference book that i referred to so it means that it is having it is going to have some involvement of cns as well so let us see what because the concentration of kali phos is less and the concept of biochemic drug is that uh, these salts are less or deficient and therefore there are the troubles so uh, if the kali force is less then there's going to be deficiency in the gray matter there's going to be nervous deficiency so we have component of nerves we have want of nerve power this is one of the guiding symptom which states conditions arising from want of nerve power if the nerve power is deficient then uh, incontinence of urine is a indication there is incontinence of urine from nervous debility and aneurysis so the bladder in itself has paretic condition neural deafness so when we talk about ear complaints there is not just deafness but because kali phos has nervous involvement there is going to be neural deafness there is humming and buzzing in the ears neurasthenia again want of power neurasthenia and great prostration the statement mentioned is slightest labor seems like a heavy work the prostration is out of proportion okay slightest labor seems like a heavy work then when we see action of the drug it states degeneration okay here there is a component of neuralgia which we would rather add it here only because neuralgia is more inflammatory neuralgia is aggravated by cold application for degeneration there is no specific symptoms but we could add locomotor system uh, although the symptoms of locomotor system are again because of nerves so there is paralysis want of power softening of spinal cord and patient has troubles guiding himself so even the locomotor system has nervous component degeneration all the mentioned is not clearly seen and there is state of dk now when we add state of dk to bleeding tendency state of dk gives it an offensiveness so all the discharges that we've mentioned also have an additional characteristic of offensiveness now let's see what all are present in state of dk the blood is thin black and offensive right like i said we can add offensiveness to other things 
So offensiveness we could add it to even cough. Cough is fetid, vomiting is fetid, there is fetid smell in the mouth. The sore throat has a tendency to gangrenous affection. There is desire to swallow all the time. Desire to swallow all the time. This is an important MCQ question. Then we come to diarrhea in discharge. Uh, the state of decay, we mentioned diarrhea in bleeding tendency as well. So, uh, adding a few points here, the ailment from is fright. Diarrhea caused by fright with depression and exhaustion. The stools are sour, uh, sour and putrid. For diarrhea from fright, we think of Argentum nitricum. But this could also be an alternate remedy. Offensiveness, like I mentioned offensiveness previously. So state of decay also gives a characteristic of offensiveness. Now all the biochemic salts usually have a color. And the color of coliphos is brownish mustard. And this is also the taste of tongue. The usual asked question is tongue of coliphos. The tongue is coated brownish like mustard. And there is excessive dryness in morning. Dryness is again a characteristic that is running through the remedy. There is dryness even in the throat. Dryness of the tongue. Um, this must have been exhausting. So many pointers, so many chain reaction. I think I almost gave you a headache. Right? So you should take Kali Foss because Kali Foss has headache of students. And those who are worn out by fatigue, there is brain fag from overwork. So again, when we do modalities, uh, we can write aggravation from mental slash physical exertion. Right? So we connect this here. So quickly revising it, we started with Kali Foss. We divided into Kali and Foss and we stated a few points and features which were uh, belonging to Foss like ailment from or sexual, sexual excitement, the eating amelioration and bleeding tendencies. For Kali we added grief and the mental state, somnambulism. Then we added to nerve component, degeneration, state of decay, tongue and headache. So that is it for this video. It was longer than what I had intended initially. If you like this video, then hit the like button, comment your reviews down below, share it to your friends and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe. I will be posting more regularly. Thank you for watching this video. Also check out the channel for biochemic drugs. I'll be uploading more of them soon enough. Goodbye.